Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Sour Soccer and guys this one was rumoured yesterday sorry we didn't get a video out for you yesterday unfortunately by the time it had broke um, it was just a busy day it was a busy day but it has now officially broke that Jesse Lingard will be moving to Nottingham Forest this was obviously a rumour yesterday and today pictures have confirmed in the last few minutes but it has now been officially confirmed Fabrizio Romano breaking it on Twitter you see obviously Lingard with stood with the owner and it's obviously him in the Nottingham Forest shirt so it is official it looks like a one-year deal for Jesse Lingard and I've seen a lot of debate about this the main reason being obviously we're going to speak about this, but the wage that's being offered. Now, it's been suggested that it's somewhere between 180k to 200k a week. But guys, in this video, I'm going to speak about what I think of the deal. But I'm also going to discuss why some people, in my opinion, are completely wrong in saying it's ridiculous to play Jesse Lingard this much, especially when you're in Nottingham's Forest position. But guys, before I jump into the video today, do me a massive favour, hit that like button, and please do subscribe to the channel if you're new here as well. It helps us out massively, so thanks in advance. And we're trying to get to 3,500 subs, so there's another incentive for, well, us really, but help us out. Guys, let's anyway, let's jump into speaking about Mr. Jesse Lingard, because it has caused debate much in the media as to whether he is worth the 180k that he has asked for. And it's been rumoured that he could be earning almost up to 200k a week with Nottingham Forest. Now, he was also linked with West Ham, and it's been suggested that West Ham were prepared to pay 150k a week, but wouldn't meet the 180k valuation. Now, of course, if you do the maths around this, of course, Jesse Lingard has signed a one-year contract. It'll probably be slightly shorter than one year. Obviously, we'll end on the 30th of June next year, which means he's probably making around 10 million from Forest. If you do the sort of basic maths, it's going to fall at around 10 million pounds. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying that this is absolutely ridiculous. Jesse Lingard, uh, how can you pay him that much money? Why are Forest breaking their money, uh, their whole um, wage structure for this? I think people aren't appreciating of how much importance there is to stay in the Premier League. Now, before I go into Jesse Lingard as a player, let me just read you off this stat of why I don't think it's a bad deal. 2.5 billion. That is the amount of commercial revenue that apparently is available through being in the Premier League. Now, of course, that obviously will be split out in different ways. It will be divvied up by based about how much you're on the TV, etc., and where you finish in the league. But fundamentally, if you go down the next year, it's now being reported that you're missing out in somewhere. The gap is now growing to around 150 million a year. So already you're starting to see if Jesse Lingard could be the difference between Forrest staying up and not staying up, I don't think it would particularly matter anyway, because I think Forrest have made some fantastic signings. But I will think say that I think Jesse Lingard offers an awful lot, which will really help this team gel. And this is a team, don't forget, that has made a hell of a lot of signings too. And obviously I'll go into that in a second. But that, my point is, 150 million could be lost if Forrest went down compared to staying up. That is how significant the gap is these days. Now, the sign of Jesse Lingard, he's not a young lad anymore. He's 29 years of age. He'll bring a lot of Premier League experience. Of course, he's played through in the Premier League all his career with Manchester United and the brief period at West Ham. And obviously, if you look at that period at West Ham, of course, last season, he didn't have a good season. He came back to Man United, maybe thought he was going to play more than he did. Wasn't really given much opportunity, even under Oli, which he was promised. And then obviously, when um, Ranjit came in, he just was really out of favour, despite them not actually selling him to Newcastle for, I think, around 25 million in January, which was crazy, but obviously great for you Forest fans watching. Now, in his time at West Ham, he played a total of 16 times. Now, in that time, he got nine goals and he also got five assists, which 15 goal contributions in the 16 games he's played. Now, that is just absolutely incredible stats. Now, people will say that obviously he's not going to replicate that. And you're probably right. He's not going to replicate that throughout the course of a season. He joined a team on such a buzz that, and it just connected really well. But... 
Probably still a pretty decent buzz themselves. Is, you know, this is the first Premier League um, triumph in, and first go at the Premier League in 23 years. They've made a host of signings to make that strong squad size bigger and make the team stronger. And they're building a very, very capable squad. So, yes, he might not meet those standards, but you've got to think, right, even if he can meet in the 38 games he'll play, even if he can contribute nine goals and five assists in the 38 games that he plays, that'll probably be enough to keep a team up. That is pretty impressive. With all the other players contributing as well, that would be enough to keep a team up. And as I said, that would be the equivalent of 150 million at least in Forest pockets. So when you actually think, yes, they're paying him 180k a week, but they can kind of evidence to the other players why he's worth that, to be honest, because a lot of the other players coming in haven't got a whole host of Premier League experience. That might be the first time in the Premier League. They might be coming from other leagues. When you sign him with Jesse Lingard, he's no longer a kid, as people still like to call him a kid. He's not a kid anymore. He's a 29-year-old that has a host of experience in the Premier League. And I really do think... People that I've seen doing videos on why he's not worth 180k a week and pundits making comments about why he's not about it. I really do think they've got it completely wrong because it's not just about the fact that he wants 180k a week. It's about what he'll provide to a team like Forrest. He'll provide a lot of experience. He may help the team gel. Of course, a new t- you know, it's a very new team they've had to build with a lot of loan signings leaving and of course just beefing up the squad and improving the quality for the Premier League. Now guys I think this is a fantastic signing. It's one year again which I should mention because there's not much risk to it you know if it doesn't work out you cut your losses at 10 million for for both parties and I also think it's good for Jesse Lingard because Jesse Lingard will be guaranteed to play won't he in this Forest setup and you obviously look at the season he had with Man United last season where he's just limited to just 16 appearances a lot of those coming off the bench he's getting what he wanted he's coming he's playing regular football and I think it's more of a guarantee with what he probably would have had at West Ham as well and of course you know being from Manchester it obviously means that he's going to be a lot closer to family friends etc etc than he probably would have been at West Ham as well which of course is another added incentive which people don't really Really think about um, the players' personal lives. But guys, let me know your thoughts. Is this a good signing for Forrest? Are you extremely happy? Are you a bit concerned at the wage element? Let me know your thoughts in the comments because I am really interested, actually, because I've seen such divided opinions. And whilst you're there, do me a favour, hit that like button and please do subscribe if you're new here. And hopefully I'll catch you on another video. Take care. Goodbye.